Welcome to Cadence Point YC's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we continue with our CAD cleanup series, and I want to show you how to extend a surface to cover a gap. So I have in front of you a very simple geometry showing a propeller, and if you get a little bit closer, you can actually see that we have a gap. So what happens if I try to assemble everything into a single model, you can actually see that it doesn't matter how big of an edge tolerance I put in there, I am going to get a single model. However, I'm also going to get four lamina boundaries that are happen to be rendered in red. And of course, they're showing that gap that I have in there. So of course, in this case, what you have to do is to create a surface to cover that gap. Now, Pointwise offers two options in the Create menu option here. When you have the size of that hole that you're going to try to cover well-defined via either database boundaries or database curves, you can try to create a patch. However, in cases where you have only two sides defining that hole that you want to cover, you can create an interpolated surface. And I'm going to show you both cases today. So we're going to start with a patch. And as you can see, I'm going to select a combination of database boundaries and database curves. And I'm going to simply generate a patch. As you can see, that patch is the previous render in yellow right there. I'm going to click OK. Very quickly, I created a Coons patch. I'm going to change its rendering so we can see it a little bit better. And now if we go to create assemble models again, you can actually see that I can assemble everything I'm going to end up again with one model, but with zero lamina boundaries. So everything is nice and tight. As I mentioned, another option that you have in here when you have two sides defined is to create an interpolated surface. So in this case, I'm going to select this side right here and eat that side right there. I'm going to create an interpolated surface, which of course is being rendered right there in yellow for you to see. From there, very quickly, I can create my new interpolated surface. I'm going to change its rendering so we can kind of see it a little bit better. There we go. And again, from here, you can go again to create assemble models, select everything, assemble your model, and everything is going to be nice and watertight with zero lamina boundaries. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.